Hello everyone, it's Clarissa and today I'm going to be doing my September favorites. I have a whole bunch of things to show you all. I have some books, a graphic novel, some cosmetic stuff, some clothing, so... And yesterday was actually the first day of fall and I was so happy because fall is my favorite holiday. Not holiday. My favorite season. So yeah, I was really really excited. I have my fall sweater and yeah. Let's get started. So, of course, I'm going to start with a book because I'm a booktuber. Um, so, this was a book that I read this month and it is A Secret History by Donna Tartt. I'm going to be talking about this a lot more in depth for my wrap-up that will be coming soon. But I just wanted to include this because this was definitely a favorite of mine. I gave it five stars, which I normally don't really do. Donna Tartt's characters are so real. It feels like you're almost like friends with them. I felt like by the end of, of this book, I was like, no, like I lost a whole group of friends. And it's like, you just get to know them and their like little quirks and things. Um, I just loved this book and I was really immersed. It took me two weeks to read though, because Donna Tartt's writing really packs a punch. So yeah. The second book that I have here is not really a book. It's a graphic novel and it's a bit more fun than the other one. Um, and it is This One Summer by Mariko Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki. I'm guessing one of them wrote the story and the other one like did the illustrations. But this is basically um, like a graphic novel. So it's a very easy read. I read this like right after reading The Secret History. So it was just like nice to kind of relax my mind and delve into something fun. This story is basically following a girl named Rose and one summer that she has in her vacation home in Owego. Owego? What's it called? I don't remember. I just love how the illustrations are drawn. Let me find one that I really really like. Like this one. Isn't that so good? I just... It, it took me a lot longer to read this than it should have just because I was like staring at the drawings like so much. So my reading for this, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars for art, but I gave it a 3 out of 5 for the story. Um, in terms of the story, it really wasn't outstanding. The characters weren't really developed and the plot kind of fell flat. So, I mean, I didn't really buy this book for that though. Like, I just wanted to <laughs> look at the really pretty pictures and I loved the cover. It'll look really good on my bookshelf. So, yeah. Next for kind of cosmetic things are these face masks. Um, I've never really used face masks before. I used to buy them from Lush like all the time in middle school, but like um, they always expired like after one week. And I was like, what's the point of this? Like it doesn't really do anything for me. So I kind of stopped using them. But the other day I went with my mom to CVS and I saw these sitting there and I was like, you know what Clarissa, you deserve to treat yourself. So I bought three of these like CVS brand face masks, so they're definitely not expensive. Um, the other one was like the a black sugar charcoal scrub or something, and I used all of that up, so it's obvious that I really liked it. Um, so I have the avocado oatmeal one, which is a purifying clay face mask, and the Dead Sea Minerals face mask, which is an anti-stressed clay face mask. And they're all kind of used for different things. But I absolutely love these. Like these actually like I saw a difference after I put them on. My favorite one is the black charcoal sugar scrub. And after I put it on, I literally feel like a new person. Like it is the most amazing feeling. And I always just like sit and like scrub my face for hours because it's just like a great feeling. And yeah, I definitely recommend these. Like I just really like them. They're cheap and they work well. So yeah. Good ingredients too. Good ingredients, no animal cruelty. The next thing I have is a candle. And I bought this at Home Goods. Me and my mom are currently obsessed with Home Goods. Um, we have one really close to our house, but we've just never gone there because we've never really had a need to. But yeah, that place is amazing. And they had an entire row of candles and they all smell delicious. I was going to buy like a fall scented one, like the pumpkin cider, whatever, but I don't really like fall scents. Um, I like more floral, clean scents, so I bought this Night Jasmine one, which was hand poured. Interesting. I don't know from where. Um, oh, and from Spain, with vegetable wax. There you go. This 
smells literally so good it smells like jasmine but you know whenever you go to like a spa or something and like this is what it smells like it's so calming i'm so calm now oh i haven't actually let it yet um because we have a cat in our house and i don't know i'm kind of nervous to have this around while he's jumping everywhere so i might buy a candle warmer so i can just like have the scent without the actual flame my hands are sticky now um so yeah but for now i just like smelling it the next favorite is actually a music favorite um if you know me personally you might know that i really like k-pop or specifically bts i've loved them since let's i would say 2014 not like since they're really really early stages but i started liking them in freshman year so um yeah and they were on a little hiatus and they recently came out with their um new single called dna <laughs> literally i watched i literally memorized like every single scene in that music video it's really really bad um also can we talk about the um if you haven't watched the dna music video or if you are not familiar with bts i'm just gonna put some pictures on here of them and hopefully it will persuade you to give them a shot because their music is actually really really good i don't know i just love them so much i think i've been talking about bts way too long the next favorite i have is another cosmetic and it is this eye cream let me try to focus it beauty guru focus how do they do this there we go so that's the brand um Fun fact, this is actually my mom's. I have no idea where she got it, but it works really, really well. Um, and it visibly reduces wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. I'm only 17, so I only use this for the dark circles and puffiness. Like, I don't really have wrinkles, but it works really, really well. Especially if you've been studying really, really late, and you wake up at 6 a.m. the next day, and your eyes just look like raccoons. I'm just like dab these on under the eyes and it looks great and they just get rid of my dark circles i don't know if this works for everyone but i really like it it's part of my new makeup routine <laughs> my last favorite is clothing yay um these are two sweaters that i bought from h&m and they were really really cheap i was so freaking excited so this is the first one it's like a very slouchy like blue sweater i don't know if i can even fit this in frame um and it's really really oversized soft um it has like this high collar so it's kind of like not really a turtleneck but like a mock neck so it's like halfway and it is really cute i love it and the second sweater i was very very hesitant to buy because a lot of people said it looked weird you'll you'll see in this clip but it has these like ruffles on the sleeves um i really liked it on me i thought it was a really really cute Style. I've never really seen anything like it plus the material in this one is a little bit softer than this one It's like um, I don't know. It's just so soft and I just like to like wear this around the house and just feel like the comfiest person ever so yeah, I really really like the sweater and This poses a lesson to all of you to buy things that you want not what you think others will like so that was all for my September favorites um yeah, I don't really know what to, else to say. This month flew by really fast, but I found that I had a lot of favorites. This, so, what was I saying? Wow, I'm really bad at this, but I'll see you next time um, with another video, hopefully soon. Yeah, bye! Well